Well, today we're on to Matthew chapter 6, verses 16 through 21. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces, they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father, who is unseen. And your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and thieves do not break through, break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to travel to the Holy Land, and I learned so much on that trip. I was in Israel and also over in Jordan. I was in Jerusalem and the northern part up in the Galilee and the Golan Heights and the southern part of the country down in the port of Elat and at the Dead Sea. I got to go to Jordan for three days. We were in Amman and we were in Petra and we explored some of the places where the foundations of our faith were created and enjoyed and lived out. While I was there on that trip, I learned that oftentimes in the Hebrew Bible and in the scriptures, whenever you hear something three times repeated, that means that it's done continuously or in perpetuity. So when God says, I love you, I love you, I love you, that means I love you continuously. We see this in the example of Peter and Jesus. When Peter has denied Jesus three times and abandoned him in his time of need, Jesus comes back and says, do you truly love me? He asked this question three times as if to say, will you keep loving me throughout your entire life? And Peter says, you know all things, you know that I love you. And Jesus tells him those times, feed my lambs, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Well, as we are fed, we can't do the work alone of sharing God's word and goodness with others, but we have to team with other people, with our denomination, with churches that want to share God's good news and God's joy. It's interesting that we're talking about feeding others when Jesus shares this message of fasting, but I love that there are three times in Matthew chapter 6 when Jesus says, when you do something in secret, God will reward you. But this time, the third time that it happens in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus adds a little phrase, God will reward you. He'll reward you openly when God sees what is done in secret. So I love to know that God has a plan for us, that through our devotions and through our life of prayer, God has a plan for rewarding us openly. And so part of the reward, as we talked yesterday about Adoniram Judson and him laying down his life in the missions field for others to come to know the gospel, is that today we have an organization, International Ministries, that literally touches life and shares the good news in all kinds of ways, sharing the whole gospel for the whole person in most of the countries, in many countries of the world. I want to show you a map of the work that IM is doing. That's a map of global servants and their work, and these are missionaries who go forth in 2024 to share the gospel. And if you want to see that map and interact with some of those global servants, you can go to internationalministries.org online and learn more. Well, friends, it's a gift that we can enjoy God's blessings when we decide to fast or abstain from the things that we might enjoy so that others can enjoy a quality of living in Christ that will benefit them and us both for now and in eternity.